Hi, I'm Weston. I love talking about the Rangers, and I'm here to talk about Game 75 of the regular season, where the Rangers lose 2-1 to one to the New Jersey Devils. Uh, that game just wasn't much fun. All right, first period. Let's just get right into this. Come out. Flat as hell. Uh, same as the second Carolina game. Same as the Florida game. Terrible first period for the New York Rangers. They get run off the ice by the Devils. Uh, shots were like 14-9. to nine. I have no idea where those nine came from. It felt like you got dominated. Oh, wait. I know why it felt like that. Because you did. It was a just beating you into the dirt first period for the Devils. Scoring chances at one point. Not shots, but scoring chances. Scoring chances, guys. 7 nothing at one point for the Devils. The fact that they only left the first with a two-goal lead was a miracle. Igor Shosturkin made so many big saves in the first period. It was a miracle you left it only down two. It was a miracle they only scored two tonight. Because their scoring chances didn't stop. They continued. Like, they look at their expected goals. It was just a guy walking uphill consistently. It was a staircase. Uh, first goal was the Hala tip in. Unacceptable. Um, I'm sorry. There, there are two guys directly in front of him. Where is the defense here? And I know I've complained about the defense all year long, but it hasn't gotten better. Your game 75. The defense is horrible. Look at this. Look at it. Just take your eyes. Pause the video even. Just stare at it. What's he supposed to do? Even if he fully is able to eliminate one of the two of them from the play. Right, if he sees the two people standing there, it's like, I am going to completely eliminate you. There's still Eric Hall and Dylan! There were two of them! Point blank! It's insane. And then a little bit later in the first, or much later in the first period, excuse me, almost at the end of it, power play for the Devils. I understand it's a power play. I get that. You're automatically down a player. I understand how that works. That being said, Bop! It's Timo Meyer! Timo Meyer, right there. No one, no one even pressuring him. You might say, well, Weston, you're down a player. What are you going to do? Leave Dougie Hamilton open at the, the blue line? Yes! Let the guy at the point get it if he needs to. The puck isn't out at the point, so why are you going for him? It was, it was just, oh my god. Right there. Right there. So you leave it down to nothing. Again, miracle. Second period. Start to turn the game around. Uh, you get a power play goal near the end of the f second. A little bit over halfway, excuse me. Uh, starts to be a broken play. Devils can't quite clear it. Mika Zibanejad has it. Really nice pass in front for Kreider. Tips it in. Rangers make it a one-goal game. The first 30 minutes of this game were the Devils beating you into submission. The last 30, I thought the Rangers outplayed them. Uh, especially in the third period. I thought you were the better team. Not by a landslide or anything, but you all played them. I thought the Rangers looked better. Uh, it got better as the game progressed, right? Shots in the first were 14-8. to eight. Very lopsided. Yeah, lopsided. Uh, second period, 10-7. to seven. All right. You know, it's close. Again, I thought you really started to dial it up towards the end of that period. And then the third period, 10-7 to seven in favor of the Rangers. So again, you know. You didn't dominate them in the third period, but you outplayed them. I, would, I, I think you can say that without being laughed at. You look at expected goals. That Kreider goal does a lot of heavy lifting for the Rangers. I mean a lot of heavy lifting. And here's the thing. I understand that you looked probably better than them for the last 30. They looked better than you for the first 30. It was just a matter of their first 30. Their 30 was better than yours. That's how you can sort of look at this game. And I understand that the Rangers have had that little bugaboo recently of just not playing well to start games. You gotta fix that going into the playoffs. Now that being said, and here's the thing, right? I'm gonna play devil's advocate. Maybe I play it too much with teams. Maybe I'm too nice on the teams that I talk about. I don't think anyone's accused me of that. Like maybe, maybe I have a bad mentality. But it's not lost on me that you go from playing Columbus, who is, if I'm not mistaken, like 31st? in league points 32nd dead last tied with the blackhawks with 54 points 
They went to overtime against Boston tonight, by the way. That was wild, right? So you play the worst team in the National Hockey League. One of the worst teams over the past few seasons, really. Not like they've been terrible for three or four years. Like, they haven't been great or anything. But, like, if you were to compare this year's worst team to the last year's worst team, it would probably be Columbus, right? Awful. Awful team, Columbus, right now. And to transition two nights later to playing one of the best teams in the Devils, who are third in points, if I'm not mistaken. Third. Yeah, third. That's a hard transition to make. It's hard to go from playing a team where you were able to give 50% effort, just half-assed it the entire way through, and still were able to win by four, to playing one of the best teams. And credit, you held them to two. That's a very winnable game for Shesterkin. Or for the Rangers. Shesterkin made it very winnable. I thought the defense got slightly better as the game progressed, which is, again, sort of a theme. The offense had some opportunities they had some looks and it was either getting robbed by Vitek Vanacek or passing on the opportunity you got a few more games but the, the playoffs are not far off you are really narrow now you play Buffalo tomorrow night you play Washington on Sunday Tampa Blues Columbus again Buffalo Toronto done you're at the end stretch You've got to make the first period a better period. And you've got to make sure that when you enter the first game of the playoffs, you are mentally in the right headspace. Right? Positive, you're playing one, at least one, maybe two playoff teams. Buffalo is still in contention, if I'm not mistaken. They might be able to sneak in. I'd love them to. That would be really cool for them. Eh, probably not. But a, a solid team in Buffalo and a genuine really good, maybe debatably cup contender, even though it's the Maple Leafs, and you might say, oh, but they haven't won a round in forever. They're still good. They still might do something. You're going to play a playoff team as your final regular season game. And you might say, well, what's it's game 82? Well, you shouldn't go into that trying too hard. You don't want to get injured. And I would say, you're right. You don't want to get injured. However, you got to get your headspace right. Because if you go into game one and play like this, you're going down 0-1 in the series. You're playing the Devils, by the way. Like, this is, you're playing the Devils. So this kind of confirms it. You're playing the Devils probably in New Jersey, unless something wild happens over the past, or the last seven games. You've got to be in the right mental headspace. And I've been saying that for a little bit. Again, you're in the gear up time. Play a good first period tomorrow. You're playing a rookie goaltender making his NHL debut in Devin Levi. You've got all the reason in the world for that to be a turnaround get right game. And I'm begging you, get right. Tomorrow at 7 o'clock in Buffalo, I'll be here afterwards to talk about it. But as for right now, that's all I have for the evening. So if you enjoyed the video, please consider to like and subscribe. Thank you all so very much for watching. I hope you all have an absolutely fantastic day. And as always, go Rangers.